hello, it's my face again. And today I'm going to be doing some baking. So this is like a bake with me video, except we're actually just making dessert, which isn't baked. We're actually putting it in the freezer, but whatever. It's a bake with me video. That's what we're going to call it. I have all my ingredients right here, plus my uh, handy dandy blender. This one first. Okay, maybe I should show you what we're baking. This is what we're making. So it is a strawberry sorbet sensation. So first I have to make the sorbet. So let's do that. I have a recipe here because I don't know how to do it. So I think you just blend everything together because I didn't actually write down the uh, steps to do it, the instructions. So we'll just blend everything together. I hope it works out. Okay, we need one cup. Oh yeah, we need five cups of strawberries. I don't know if this is five cups. Well, we're just going to dump the whole thing in, I guess, and uh, go from there. I don't think this is going to hold all five cups. Well, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, one cup sugar. Three cups. Oh, I need water. Oh, I have water from the sink. And my cup here. I got this lovely little cup from Dola Brama. It works nicely. I like it. Sugar. Three cups of water. One. Two. And three. Now we need all the strawberries. They're sliced strawberries, so okay. This is gonna make a splash. Maybe I should have put these in first. Yeah, I definitely should put these in here. Awesome. Now we need two tablespoons of lemon juice. So obviously if you followed along this far, you know that your blender will fit all the strawberries. Let's blend it. Oh. Look at that. That's looking good. It's looking kind of liquidy though. This is going to take a while. Let's get a spoon. One more session. Okay, let's turn my mouth. Well, that's good. We've made the sorbet. I have need a pan. Look, I have a pan. It says that I'm supposed to line it with foil, although I think parchment paper would work just as well, but we're gonna go with foil because that's what it says to do. I have a story about this box. This box was left out in the rain, so don't mind if I was really gross. Here. I don't know if you know this, but with aluminum foil, you're supposed to put the bell side on the food. We're just gonna call it good. Okay. Why do you need to line it with aluminum foil? Oh, so you can get it out of there because you have to flip it over. Right. Now it says. It's, I think it's gonna cause issue. I want to redo this. Oh, you think? Yeah. Look at this. Look right here. Oh, right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just put more on. There we go. Annoying. Why can't I just put it in the pan? That works. It looks fine. Now that we've lined it with foil, it says, oh, put the sorbet into the bottom of the pan. We need two cups. And then we put it in the freezer for 15 minutes. Two cups of sorbet. Let's just whoop. Look at that. One. Perfect. Two. Yeah, that, look at all that sorbet that we have. Now we put it in the freezer. Okay, so that's in the freezer. Um, 15 minutes, we'll do that. And we're back. Let's keep going. You need a bowl. I know you're following along at home, so you make sure you have a bowl. And you have a uh, one cup measuring, measuring cup. You need some milk. You need uh, this vanilla artificial flavor instant pudding mix, not sponsored. And then you need um, some whipped topping, like cool or something. What we are going to do is whisk milk and pudding make for two minutes. We need a cup of milk, one cup of milk. We need one of these. Okay, let's, uh, I need a whip. It's like in a small bowl, but like, it's gonna move around. You need a bigger bowl than that. Like this bowl is good. So how's it going? Good. Okay. Now that sits for two minutes. Put that over there. It's still liquidy, so if you can see right here, look at that. Look how look that's that's liquid. I don't know why you even bothered putting it in the freezer. Next, what we are going to do: fold the whipped topping into the pudding. I don't even know how much to use. Like that's how much I have. One carton, eight ounces frozen reduced fat whipped topping. Put that on the side. Oh no, that's mold. I, we can't use. It. No, we cannot. Go we can't. once. Yeah. Yeah. See that you can't use it. I didn't know. We're off to the store. This is really embarrassing. 
<laughs> no, get close. We have mold. Okay. That's really embarrassing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay, we're off to the store. I'm back from the store. And I got, I had, I had to get the name brand stuff, but whatever. Okay, I still don't know how much I need. I need, um, eight ounces. It's all lumpy to break up the, with popping chunks here. Beautiful, I guess. Okay, so it's still liquidy, but uh, hopefully it freezes at some point. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, now I have to gently spread this on top of the liquid. I'm just gonna um, pour it really gently. It's going straight into there. Uh, let's get it all in the corners. That's what it looks like. I guess we're gonna put it in the freezer and in four hours it should be frozen on there. See you in four hours. And we're back. Here it is. This is what it looks like. Here you go. I'm gonna put it in this container. Because you're supposed to put it on a plate, but how are you supposed to move it from the plate back into the freezer? I don't know. So we're going to put it in this container. Okay. Oh. Okay. Now I have to peel this off somehow. Oh, oh. This is it. Doesn't that look appetizing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna cut it open. Okay, this is what it looks like. This the bottom there. And then when I cut into it, there's some, it's like about even here, like the, the stuff in the survey. Just come out of the freezer. Over, over, and I taste, I'll give it like a 8 out of 10. Difficulty, 1 out of 10. Super easy to make. I'm gonna eat my dessert now. So, see you next time.